Here's a video about my thoughts on the Champion Radiator I bought for my 51 Mercury. This is a sports sedan. Um, it's midwinter now, so it's in hibernation. But last summer I needed a radiator. My uh, The stock uh, copper and brass one started leaking, so I bought a Champion. I think this is a Champion Ace. Um, flat Stock flathead configuration, they call it. Well... It went in, it installed fine. Um, the bolt holes, uh, they li lined up great and everything. Well, but it it turns out these have a design flaw. The top tank is offset to the rear, towards the engine. And uh, the stock radiator top tank is offset towards the front. Well, that creates a pretty big gap here like two inches wide, I had to make this um, an air dam out of angle iron because I was overheating because a lots of fresh air was escaping up and over the radiator. So my first clue was that the I had to take an inch off of the upper radiator hoses there. And that's, that's that inch right there. So anyway, if you're thinking of getting a champion radiator, there's going to be, there could be issues like that. I talked to the president of champion and he talked to his engineers and they said that they didn't plan on changing it. And that if I wanted to return it, I could ship it back to them at my cost, which is immediately not worth it, because I'm sure that would be 50 or $60 to ship it to them. For $220 for a radiator, it's, that's you get what you pay for. It functions, but I had to make modifications to avoid overheating. And uh, by the way, I also painted this flat black. When, when they come, uh, they're a very polished aluminum and that would stick out like a son of a bitch let's just say so I mean long story short the core is nicely parallel to the fan blades if you see there but I don't know that gap was unacceptable that wouldn't have been I, I was running hot it uh, it went up to 225 right away and then I realized what was going on. So then I made that uh, angle iron thing there, but uh, that's uh, just one little, you know, buyer beware. It's a good value, but if you got to do that kind of uh, modification, it might not be what you expect. I'm really not happy with it in the end. What I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, what I'm going to do is just have the original brass radiator reconditioned and put that back in there and but for now this is working and it doesn't uh, look too bad I guess and it's a conversation piece I guess not in, not in a good way it is what it is you buy Chinese crap sometimes you get Chinese crap but it, it's almost uh, <laughs> it's almost a good radiator thanks for watching